I've made over $500,000 from Snapchat in the last year and today I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. People who have been subscribed to this channel for a while know I've made a little over $100,000 from posting my own content on Snapchat, but I've secretly been running a Snapchat agency for a little over a year now that has made five times that. Unfortunately, I can't go into any exact numbers due to contracts, NDAs, and the respect for creators I've worked with, but basically how it worked was me and my team ran over 100 influencers snapchat accounts and blew them up in total i think we have around 15 million subscribers 30 verified accounts and well the best strategy to make money on snapchat in 2022 that's sick logan but you clearly kept this a secret so no one would copy you so why are you revealing how to do it now well there's a few reasons first the snapchat payments have been slowly declining over the last few months second is i had some very unfortunate situations with vas not doing their work or just being scummy people which is taken care of now, thank God. And lastly, I kind of feel like I have to tell y'all because I teach y'all about businesses and this is the biggest business I've ever started. I spent so much time and money on the concept, what to pay creators, myself, VAs, all the NDAs, contracts, lawyer fees, and tons of other miscellaneous expenses. So to actually see it work after doing all that is incredible. And although I've been teaching y'all how to make hella money from Spotlight for over a year now, today I will reveal the three best account types to go viral on Snapchat and the secret tactic we use to get paid more than other creators. The first account is a creator account, which is when you post your own content on Snapchat. Like how I used to post all my comedy and action sports TikToks, and nowadays how I post my short form finance videos across different Spotlight accounts. For example, if we look at the one I'm logged into right now, you can see it has 74,000 subscribers. And if we click on videos, you'll see 40 plus videos that reached the payment threshold, but didn't pay because they grew too slowly. AKA they didn't receive the required 200K plus views within 24 four hours PST time. In fact, the only payment I got on this account was this video with 1.8 million views that only paid $1,200 and this video with 800k views that paid $2,200. So you can clearly see Snapchat is paying a lot less than they used to, but regardless, $3,500 for reposting TikTok is a ridiculous amount of money. And here are three ways you can do the same thing with a creator account. Oh my gosh. First is making the typical stupid five second content that always goes viral on Snapchat. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just scroll on Spotlight for a few minutes. You'll see people messing with food, line scanner videos, fake gym reactions, and other dumb ideas you can easily copy. Like I tried to make as much money as I could from new Snapchat accounts in some one week challenge videos, and I made $700 for a video of me drawing a heart and $600 for another stupid video of me drawing multiple hearts. It was probably the easiest money I ever made. The second creator account you can make are those super over exaggerated reaction videos. Just green screen your face over some viral videos and react in a dumb way so people engage with your content and make it go viral. I know multiple people who never made content before and got paid six figures doing that for basically going whoa! And the third way to make money with a creator account if you aren't an influencer is to become one so you can post your own great content on Spotlight. Account type 2, edit page. The second account type will probably be most of your guys' favorite because you don't have to be in the videos and it's pretty easy to set up. All you have to do is pick a niche or content creator you like, then edit videos about that concept and post them the spotlight. You could make edits for Tate, sports highlights, music remixes, or really anything else you're interested in. But there is one flaw about picking edits over making your own content, and that's that it can be easily stolen because you aren't in the videos, which also results in snap Snapchat skipping you for lots of payments because they don't think you own the content. So if you decide to go the edited content route, make sure to add your Snapchat username watermark on all your videos. Account three, impersonating content. This is a very sketchy route to take because you can end up getting banned from Snapchat or just never getting paid at all. But I've heard of many people making tens of thousands of dollars by finding creators who don't have Snapchat, then making an account as that person and posting their content. It's basically what I did at the agency but without fairly paying the creator for using their content. So be extremely careful if you do that. And like I promised, here are the secrets to going viral on Spotlight. First, always add a one second text clip somewhere at the end of your video so people rewatch to see what it says, which will make your content go more viral. Second, focus on a hook that grabs the viewer's eyes and ears. And the last tip can be found in this Snapchat challenge where I try to make $5,000 in a week on a new Snapchat account. So watch that and God bless.